What is up guys, Kaidum here, and welcome to this first video of this series. Um, so this video is going to be uh, an overview of what to expect from this uh, project. It's not, a, it's not going to be a tutorial, it's just a general look. So later in our tutorials, we will uh, take a look at how to customize everything, how to use your own player controller and everything. So for the time being here, inside the player controller, we have this uh, inventory component. So right here, we have two uh, modes. We have our top-down, uh, which is uh, your regular uh, top-down. And we, also we have FPP, TPP. So if you select that uh, mode right there, then we have our third person here where you move your character with a uh, keyboard. And of course you can rotate with mouse uh, as well as so you can uh, interact with um, objects in the world with with a key such as e for example and you can also still use your mouse cursor for example i can click here and pick uh, those items up uh, of course here we have a uh, an option here hide cursor in third person so if we select that then of course we don't have our cursor uh, shown of course in order to show the cursor i would have to bring up the inventory and then i can of course still use my cursor to interact with the world. The rest here is just um, settings for um, key preference classes. So of course these classes are used to control what equipment are allowed on uh, certain classes and also skills also can only be uh, executed by certain classes. So we'll take a look at that when we talk um, in details about skills and pickups etc. So for now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, world here so we have pickups right here so these pickups can have stats uh, and these stats can be random so the uh, these stats are controlled in the data table and uh, we'll take a look at that in the video dedicated to pickups so uh, stats can have benefits so if you go here to attributes so we have some attributes right here we can add more uh, if we want so of course these attributes have benefits and that is controlled inside the character so whenever you equip something um, for example this armor so as you can see there we have 19 armor and some resistances so if we equip that then we see here that we have now we have 19 armor and that armor can be used to reduce physical damage and these resistances here are used to uh, reduce elemental damage of course uh, so that's that can be controlled inside the character you can um, add in your own uh, logic for these attributes and like I said you can add more attributes as well um, so weapons and items in general can have uh, extra slots for example this hammer we can right click there we have a context menu as you can see there so we can open uh, equip and drop so if we select open we have this window right here we call it a special container so we can use this to add more slots to a to an item it doesn't have to be a weapon it can be an armor as well so for example, you have this gem that uh, it has like 10 strength and uh, 100 bonus health. So if we drag that and equip it to the hammer, and as you can see, if we uh, hover over the um, weapon right there, you're going to see that now it has an extra 10 strength and uh, 100 health added from the uh, gem. And of course, the gem can be inequipped as well. And now the weapon loses those stats. Um, so uh, like I said, random stats, as, as you can see there now, this big hammer has like 129 and 87 strength. So if, if, if I go ahead and restart the, uh, uh, like the play here, now it's gonna see that this hammer has 116 to 117 attack. So attack, of course, here can, can be like a range, can be a min and a max. And of course, now we have 33 strength. Um, so uh, items can have random stats and those stats are saved when you save your game and then load it um, random stats can be generated inside containers such as this one uh, so we can see there we can also generate a stat so as you can see here we have 116 to 117 attack and this one has 111 to 129 and of course crafting items can also be um, you can also generate uh, stats random stats from crafting items and that of course is a setting you can either enable it or disable it so here for example if we hover it says stats unknown because once you craft something here uh, then it will have random stats and talking about crafting here so for crafting we can use materials and we can also use items as well as part of a recipe for example this big sword right here requires 10, uh, 10 materials uh, 3 which we have here but we don't have a short sword so we can go ahead and craft our short sword here 
first or go ahead and loot it from somewhere and then we'll be able to craft this big sword as you can see there so now that we have the short sword which is a simple weapon we can also equip the short sword if we want now we can craft our big sword there so, so you can have materials and items as part of a recipe and materials are also items at the end of the day um, if we go here to um, uh, vendors so in vendors we have two so we have this layout right here where we have these evenly distributed and we see the price there and here for example for these weapon vendors we have it this way so this is just a, a matter of a checkbox inside the vendor actor so you can have it like this so if we hover over a weapon you can see the price there and of course these stats are the stats by default so inside the data table when you when you create a new pickup you can either um, select like fixed stats or random stats and we'll talk about that more specifically in the pickups uh, video um, for uh, right here we have some actors that we can interact with uh, we can have we have multiple ways to interact with an actor you can either uh, either damage the actor to um, uh, like have it execute its logic for example this one right here requires to be damaged we can indicate how many hits you need to apply to this actor before it uh, does something such as drop an item. So in this case, we only need to hit it once and it will drop something. And of course, it will respawn after a certain time. You can indicate that in the settings. You can also disable spawning as well. This one right here only requires an interaction. Um, so I can just uh, go right there. So if I sit here, it will not spawn at all until I move out of the uh, spawn point right there. So if I move here, then it will, it should spawn at some point here. So you can select a min and max time as well. And by the way, we can uh, indicate if an item should provide some XP. So here, right here, as you can see, we have some XP right there and we can level up. And some skills are, um, some skills have uh, level requirements such as this one right here requires level five. Um, and these are great because they're already in our action bar uh, this one right here we can use it's it required level uh, requires level one so i can go ahead and drag it there this one right here requires level two so um we'll take a look at skills more in details like i said in the upcoming videos so any actor can apply effects such as buffs and debuffs and this in this case this uh, applies some movement speed a debuff minus 75 percent there so buffs and debuffs can have a duration in this case since um we are in the area we simply have an infinite duration um same here so this one right here is another way of interacting with an object this kind of interaction could also be applied to anything such as a container for example so this one right here requires us to hold the key for a few seconds so i have to hold the key for a few seconds then it will spawn something and i got some xp there so this zone right here applies to debuffs uh movement slow and uh, fire damage and of course as long as i'm the in the area i will continue taking uh or like i still have that status applied to me but if we get damaged by this guy right here as you can see we have some poison uh, damage there and it has a duration which is 10 seconds and of course it uh, it gets expired and of course we have some extra settings to play with such as what happens when you get hit by the same skill do you refresh the duration or do you stack the duration etc so we'll take a look at all of that in the skills video so as far as the inventory goes here we uh, as you can see here we have our jigsaw inventory style we can drag items around we can rotate them like so um we can replace a switch or like swap item locations for example this one with that one um we can have items with certain capacities such as this one right here so if i double click there or right click consume it will consume a charge so this one have uh, like has uh, four charges and and these of course can be refilled uh, we have a function that we can use to refill these uh, bottles for example i can also drag them here to use them as well so if i just go ahead and die respawn and then open the inventory as you can see here now we have the um item refilled of course it is optional you can either do that or not top down mode we can hold alt um, and cycle between the action bars or we can just press one two three four five etc to execute a certain skill 
Uh, in this case, if I have, for example, this one right here selected, I can right click to execute the skill. In third person, you can simply use a scroll wheel without holding Alt um, to cycle between action bars and use your left mouse button to attack or execute that uh, skill. And of course, that can be customized uh, however you want, of course. So finally, AI can be um, customized um, to have multiple attacks, for example. Attacks have cooldown and uh, conditions such as health percentage. Uh, for example, you can set an AI to only attack or execute a certain attack when its health uh, reaches a certain value. And you can also uh, set the AI to be stunned, of course, uh, after a certain value. Very useful for bosses as well, for example.